What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Ader AI and AI pair programming in your terminal with AI on the rise with Claude Sonnet 3.5 all the other AI language models coding is getting a lot easier with AI so in today's video we're going to look at how to install Ader and how to do some basic coding with Ader Next.js Gemini, whatever model you want, as well as getting it live, deploying it, etc. So let's dive right into it. All right, guys. So, you know, there's different tools um, and we're going to be covering more of these on, in future videos. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button um, to stay tuned for that. We upload videos every single day on AI automation business growth etc marketing sales so let's go to ader.chat this is the docs right here and links for this will be in the description so what first things first is we need to install ader so all right so to get started we're just going to follow this get started guide right here so we can just go ahead and run the pip install so it's going to be pip install ader-chat we're going to run this okay going to start collecting Ader chat, installing Ader chat. And once this is done, we're going to want to select what LLM we're using. So while this is installing, um, you can use any LLM. Like if you go here, we can see connecting LLMs. It can connect to pretty much any LLM, such as OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, Grok, Azure, uh, Cohort, uh, Cohere, um, DeepSeek, Olama, OpenAI, compatible APIs, open router, other LLMs. Um, we're going to be using Gemini in today's video. And if you haven't used Gemini before, the reason I'm using it is because they have a model called Gemini 1.5 Flash. And, you know, they have other models too, right? So the good thing about 1.5 Flash is there's a free of charge plan, which is really, really cool. Um, been using it uh, for a bit uh, lately and it's pretty pretty uh, good to be honest all right so you can sign up through uh, Google Gemini's um, pricing here the for ai.google.dev I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to use this but you can use whatever um, LLM you desire also to uh, I'll leave a link to the Ader github as well but once you decide whatever LLM you're going to be using you actually just run this uh, right here either export and then your Gemini key or if, I, if you're on Mac and Linux or set X Gemini key for Windows so all right so I just ran that command and so that basically means my Gemini uh, API key is set so now what we're going to do is we are going to all right so now we're going to set up a new Next.js app so you just go mpx create next application at latest. I don't know why the terminal is kind of glitching like this, but anyways, yeah, you can. So this is the command, obviously, for Next.js. What is your project name? We'll just call this you. All right, so installing that. Once we're done that, we're going to cd into the, into the directory where we can actually start using Ader to create our, na our app. All right, so we cd'd into our app here, and now we are going to run Ader. So I'm going to do Ader-model, and then I'm using Gemini uh, 1.5 Flash latest. All right, but you can use whatever model you like and switch it if needed. All right, so we can just go yes. 
All right, when you use Ader and it asks you these questions, it's all it's going to have a Y here by default. Sometimes it does this. You can, if you want to say no, you put it to N. Yes is Y. All right, so now we are running Ader in our VS terminal code or VS terminal. And um, you can use forward slash help or, or question for help or run Ader, Ader dash help to see uh, the CMD line args. Okay, and I'm just gonna paste these instructions right here into uh, Ader. Basically just saying, create a simple user-friendly to-do list application using Next.js. The app should allow users to edit, uh, add, delete, and mark tasks as complete. It should have a clean and responsive design with basic functionality that uh, impress beginners, features, add tasks, edit, edit tasks, uh, delete task, mark task as complete task filtering, responsive design, and then the tech we're using is uh, Next.js, React, uh, state management, use state, use effect, React hooks, styling, CSS modules, or styled components, and backend none, use local state for simplicity. We're just doing this um, just for the case of this video, but you could do anything. You could connect this with a database. You could do a lot of stuff, obviously, right? So let's run this. Okay, so this is Ader going to work here okay so it's given us a bunch of code up here so page so here's a simple to-do list application using next.js page is uh so it's using pages and then index.js import use state use effect or react all this text set tasks all right here's the code and then styles global css right here explanation so pages uh forward slash index.js so state management pass an array to store the to-do list items new title uh description filter use effects hooks loads tasks from local storage when comp uh, component mounts save tasks to local storage whenever the task array changes function add tasks Toggle complete, edit task, delete task, filter task, JSX, renders to the to-do list with input fields, task list, filter buttons, and buttons for editing and deleting tasks. Styles, uh, uh, forward slash global CSS provides basic styling for the to-do list application, including layouts, in input fields, task list items, and filter buttons. To run this application, make sure you have Node.js installed uh, NP and NPM installed. A new uh, yeah so we did this so anyways basically saying allow creation of new file pages slash index we're just going to say yes so it's going to create this itself within um our repositories here once we allow that as you can see we got pages right here uh where is it um okay oh pages right here okay so it's using that method all right, and then style CSS. Okay. And committed. Okay. Now let's go ahead and test this out. All right, we're doing npm run build now. And just a side note, it. Okay, so just a side note. Um, Yeah, it basically didn't know I was using the. Newer version of no, uh, Next.js, basically where it installs it within the app uh, for pages instead of the page um, directory. So I just deleted that and put it in page.tsx. Um, you're importing a component. So, okay, let's just see here. We're getting an, er getting an error. So all I'm going to do is let's see, just copy this. And go back to my Ader here. Paste this in. Let's just see what we get. Um, add. No. No. Okay, so let's see what we get. Error message indicates that you're using a use state and use effect in in a server component, which is not allowed. 
these hooks are designed for client components to fix this you will need to mark okay uh by adding the use client okay that makes sense so okay so it built directly this time now let's just do npm run dev and there we have it on our local host port 30 let's go ahead and check this out and see how it looks out of box all right there still could be some issues maybe we'll have to deal with all right so as you can see it's very very basic um to do list all active completed all list test all right so a few things to note um you may encounter some issues if you are basically uh, i would specify to ader or whatever model you're using um that what like if because for next.js if you're using like next.js 13 or 12 it's going to be a lot different um so depending on how you're doing things right so if we go to here you can see all i really had to do was just um get it to move since i didn't specify that initially i just had to get the pages instead of having the page directory um next uh next js the uh 13 um and onward you know does it through the app directory so just because i set it up that way added that to the page.tsx and same thing for layout instead of underscore app.tsx we got that so i just imported the uh global css here and you can see this is our to-do list as of now all right we still could continue on editing this you know styling it all that good stuff but you know it isn't too bad let's go ahead and say uh call this task like go to the gym and we have our description here do it at 6 p.m okay we can add task and boom there we have go to the gym do it at 6 p.m let's go um let's do hang out with girl friend there we go boom have food boom and then let's go ahead and say okay we ate so boom it gets marked off um did we hang out with our girlfriend uh sure and you can change this now i would typically you know i if i was really building this out i wouldn't have this i would use an actual like um uh you know different style to edit it and whatnot but we're not gonna build this out too much um yeah but we can see active completed all so we have the filtering there and yeah we have a bit of styling with red and green buttons nothing too crazy but we could continue on improving on this and iterating this and this literally took about five to ten minutes just to create and this is awesome this is quite cool now that we can do these sort of things with um you know really not too much uh effort right all we do is a simple a few simple prompts and this is just a start i just wanted to give you guys kind of like a brief intro if you're not if you're not familiar with ader if you're familiar with it and then you know this is just showing you some additional stuff hopefully you got some value out of this um in future videos i will be showing you more in-depth apps building with tools like ader uh, there's other tools as well uh, utilizing these different tools utilizing different models i'm actually building a few projects right now on my own and so just as i'm learning new things and seeing how uh, we can leverage these models whether they're um you know open source models uh like you know quen different models like that or um some of the non-open source models like uh claude sonnet 3.5 is in pretty insane for code so only downside obviously is it's uh you know can can be quite uh expensive to you know if you're using it heavily right and uh it can those bills can rank rack up pretty quickly so other than that guys hope you got some value from this video like i said if you're new to this channel we upload videos every single day on ai uh, ai automations development marketing business growth etc so if you're new to the channel make sure to smash that subscribe button smash the like button let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below all links mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. 
And then also too, guys, if you're new here, check out our Stride community. It's a free group of entrepreneurs, uh, AI enthusiasts, like-minded individuals like yourself, and we can all network with each other, uh, and you can network with myself. It's a free Facebook group and Discord channel. We have about 750, 800 members in both those combined. So check that out in the description down below, stridecommunity.com. It's 100% free. Other than that, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code. This is a book to show you how to get clients for your business, get leads, get a calendar packed full of clients, leveraging AI and the most advanced marketing tactics in the world. So um, yeah, if you run a business and you do stuff like, you need to do stuff like paid ads, outbound prospecting, et cetera, uh, it has the cutting edge tactics in that book. I put my blood, sweat, and tears and my heart and soul into it. So go get a copy down below, clientacquisitioncode.com. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.